What's going on everyone? David Wick Dynasty Fishing here. Um, it's going to be giving you guys a little review of the kayak that I just remodeled just to kind of give you a perspective of things that you could do on your own. So uh, let's get to it. All right. So this is my kayak right here, the uh, Tamarack 100 Angler or Angler 100 made by Lifetime. Um, I received this for Christmas and uh, I've just been modding it out while it's cold out right now and uh, gonna be able to take it out in the water very soon here. So uh, first thing I did with this is uh, you got this front storage compartment here and it was like wide open at first. So uh, and everything could just roll around through the whole kayak, whatever you put in there. There's just one open cabin space. So uh, what I did, I took a old drawstring backpack, like a vinyl backpack, and I unscrewed this gasket, and I siliconed the backpack underneath here, then siliconed each screw, screwed the gasket back on. Now I have a storage bag with two different compartments. Whatever I put in here won't slide around. So there's that. And I saw this one on YouTube, uh, using practice golf balls as scupper plugs. I mean, you can't beat that. And you got the Scotty mount rod holder that comes with it. And also the uh, paddle that comes with it. And then uh, I also mounted this uh, kayak trolley system here. So say you're fishing in the wind, uh, you can set up the anchor and put the anchor all the way to the back of the kayak down here. Uh, if I can get this undone. All right, you'll just uh, pull that rope and if that strap wasn't there, that ring would go all the way to the back sending your anchor line back there so you would be able to drift downwind with the wind and have it to your back and uh, this is the anchor this is the anchor that I got for it uh, Amazon you know I think like 20 bucks and it came with this clip which I thought was nifty and a float what I do is just take this clip clip onto that ring and then you know let it go and then say I have a fish on and I don't want to get wrapped around the anchor line I would just unclip and then I would see that float later on say I moved away from where my anchor was set and I'd be able to find it right, so there's that and then back here you know, I got the, the Yak Gear crate. I mean, I could have found a milk crate at a grocery store, but you know, everywhere I went, they didn't have any. And I found these uh, PVC rod holders at Walmart and they were on sale for like $2 a piece and I didn't have to make my own, you know, get a heat gun and melt these down and make slots. So pre-made, easy fitting for the rod. And uh, you know, I just got a bungee strap down. It's kind of self-explanatory there. Then uh, I added a good old Tackle Warehouse sticker and a Pesco Muerte sticker that I got from a, a guy in Charleston, the Darth Waiter on Instagram. And then, uh, you know, fish grips. And that's about all. I mean, you don't really need too much more out of a, a simple fishing kayak. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh yeah, they got this cart system. Definitely necessary. If you got to park far away from the boat ramp or say you're just walking from your house to a body of water. But all in all, I think she's looking good. Once again, this has been David Dynasty from Dynasty Fishing. And uh, hope you like my kayak. 